Being a cop requires you to undergo tough training and pass several exams. Uh -huh. But what happens when citizens decide to wear the uniform of a cop and start acting like one? Here are four different cases where fake cops finally got caught. Isn't that illegal? Posing as a cop? That has to be illegal somewhere, right? I think you're trying to be the police and you can't be the police. No. That's what I think. I'm not trying to be the police. What are you trying to be then? Why are you running like this? You, no other paper server does that. My right. guy drives a marked unit and he doesn't drive like that. Okay. This is fake cop Jeremy Kirk, who just got busted after flashing official but fake police insignia while driving a police car. On February 8th, 2019, at 1.56 p.m. while traveling on South Pine Street in Cabot, Arkansas, Detective David Dillon of the Lone Oak County Sheriff's Office observed a black Dodge Ram activate green, red, and yellow emergency lights. The vehicle then began driving in the center turn lane at approximate speeds of 90 miles per hour, passing several cars recklessly. On the rear window of the truck was a sticker reading, Caution, Working K-9, and the front of the truck was equipped with a push bumper. Detective Dillon initiated a traffic stop and was joined by some of his colleagues. Here is what happened next. You're not with any law enforcement agency? No. But you're wearing a badge like you are. Well, you just ID'd yourself to the sheriff as an arson investigator. I'm sorry, sir? You ID'd yourself as an arson investigator, right? Where does that radio go to? It's Adam Radio. It's A-Win Radio. Where did you get A-Win Radio at? I'm with Adam as well. What Adam? Arkansas Department of Emergency Management. You work for them? I'm a volunteer for them, yes, sir. Who's the supervisor over that? Do they know you're working, you're wearing that radio while you're working your private job, serving civil papers? Yes, sir. They know you're using that radio? Yes, sir. They do? Yes, sir. Cap. Cap. Yes, sir. Cap. We're going to find out all that. Okay. Step out and step to the back here. Sure. Officer Dylan asked Mr. Kirk to turn on the lights to see if there were any blue lights attached to his truck. Mr. Kirk turned on the lights and Officer Dylan observed a dash camera and a mounted radar that is identical to the ones that cops from the Arkansas Police Department use in their emergency vehicle. How, do th how does he get his hands on these things, bro? It looks like, it seems it's very easy to get your hands on this, bro. What the fuck? During a vehicle tow inventory of the truck, there were also several other items inside that resembled law enforcement equipment as well. You got your camera on, you better make sure it's recording. Okay. Let's step out. You got handcuffs too? I do. Step right back here. Keep your hands out of your pockets. You have a weapon on you besides your pocket knife? No, sir. Do you have any firearms in the truck? No, sir. You have a canine in there? No, sir. Is that our frequency you're listening to? Yes, sir. How? That has to be illegal. What's the phone? Or he may go bond out on this. Contact Adam and see if they know who this guy is. He says he's a volunteer with them. He's got an A1 radio. Where did you get the A1 radio? From Adam. You're telling me that they know that you're doing this? Yes. You're out serving civil papers, using our radio, running lights cap, and Cap, cap, cap. Didn't know he was behind you, did you? You're not law enforcement, you understand that, right? Yes. I don't have blue lights either. You're right, you don't have blue lights, but you're driving crazy down the middle of the road. Okay. That's not an emergency to go serve civil papers. Okay. This is one of this is our guy who serves our civil papers. Would you do that? Okay. They're writing you some tickets, and we're going to go to court, and we're, there's other things we're going to do here. Okay. GG. Mr. Kirk, the fake cop, when asked about the presence of handcuffs in his car, says that they're for theft deterrent. You got handcuffs in there, too. Mm -hmm. What are the handcuffs for? Uh, they're from... What are they for? Adam. They're a theft deterrent. A theft deterrent? Yep. What does if, theft deterrent mean? Well, it'll keep somebody from breaking into my truck. <coughs> Hopefully. What? That's the. How does a handcuff stop a person from breaking into your truck? Get a gun. That makes no sense. How does it, bro? You guys, you're a fucking idiot, bro. Thought. You are know, Okay. So you're saying carrying handcuffs in your truck means that they won't break into your truck. So you're if, you're if, making it look like it's a law enforcement truck, so they won't break into it. If if you walked up to break that window and break in, and you saw that, would you break in? I'm not a criminal, but yeah, I'd steal your handcuffs and steal your guns. <laughs> Is there guns in there? Nope. Once Detective Dillon called Adam to confirm Mr. Kirk's claims, it was revealed that Mr. Kirk is not a cop, 
and is not officially affiliated with Adam. After checking with Adam, it was learned that Mr. Kirk was only an amateur radio operator. Adam requested that the actual cops seize the radio and Mr. Kirk's Adam identification card. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney have present during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free of charge before any questions are asked. Do you understand People are your so rights? so stupid. You can answer questions if you so desire and make a statement without consulting an attorney. Understand that? Yes. Okay. Where's the canine? At home? What kind of dog is it? German Shepherd. What does it do? He's a tracking dog. He's a certified search and rescue dog. So, Adam gave you an A Win radio? Yes, sir. Who at Adam do you work for? I work for the Racies. For what? Racies. Racies? Yes. Radio Emergency yes. Radio Amateur uh, yes. Civil Emergency Service. There we go. Let me see your radio. What I don't get is, this guy put in so much effort into pretending being a cop. Why don't you go actually be a cop? You have every- all the equipment needed. Just go, like, go to the training or something, bro. Why you gotta pretend, dude? Jesus. This is taking a while. Yeah, you hold on to this. Right. So you're running amber and green lights. Uh huh. To get through traffic. What law in the state of Arkansas allows you to do that? I don't know. There's not one. Seven races. Oh, uh, Justin. Cap. I can't remember his last name now. You check the lights in the front truck, make sure they're not blue. Right? Well, he's he's a uh, he says he's a volunteer. Tab. I'll give you your right to be running lights. Right. GG. There any weapons inside your vehicle? Nope. None at all. I mean, I seen the aspen on in the door. That is a bite stick for dog trading, sir. Okay. You mind if I open your door and activate the lights? Do the lights are color in front of your truck? Uh, I'll be happy to do that for you, sir. Sir? Give me your radio. We're taking that into evidence. We're going to contact Adam. Okay. You're running red and green lights. Are you a firefighter? I'm certified firefighter too. Are yes. you a firefighter? What, what agency? I'm not. What, what emergency was you running to? When Detective Dillon asks Mr. Kirk where he was off to in such an emergency, he says that he is about to serve a lady with divorce papers. We've, we've been over What this. emergency running, was you running to? We've been over it. Which, which emergency were you running to? What emergency were you running to? I was trying to get to that lady before she left with her children. Where's the papers at? Let me see the papers. What papers would you like to see, sir? <laughs> what you're going to serve don't, right don't now? Oh, the sir? Don't like that. Back up. Hey, I'm, I'm, listen, I got a hearing disability. I'm sorry. Well, then you, you can say that without stepping towards us. Listen, I don't have a hearing disability. Okay. Now I can talk louder. But but here's what you have. The papers that you're going to serve right now. I can that's hand what them. What I need to see. Yes, sir. GG, bro. What the fuck is this equipment? You have insurance with you? I do. I don't need to hold. Let me hold. <laughs> That's everything I'm serving, sir. No, I told you what you were serving. What I asked for was very clear. What are you serving right now that you were driving like that for? Restraining order. You serving a restraining order, mm -hmm. which is not a that's and, for a divorce. An order to uh, give up the kids, and there's you a whole bunch of stuff. You drive 90 miles an hour down a turn lane. School's about to get out. You put everybody's life at risk. And I don't think I was driving 24. 90. I'm sorry, sir. And you got till March 21st. Well, that's the court date. Well, he's also our civil process service, so you can't. Right. District Court yeah. of Harris County, Texas. Mm -hmm. You said it was from Lono County. I'm authorized through Lono County. No, no, that is not what you told me. You told me, you told me when I pulled up to you, you said this is uh, through Lono County. This is a divorce. <laughs> yes, sir. It's a resort of a divorce. Is he abusing his power to pretend as a cop to serve a divorce paper? His wife should know this. I'm not sure we're not going to tow his ride and have and, uh, 
Because shouldn't that sure wife know this? Your displayed? Put your hands on the truck. Right there. Hand him the papers. Huh? Put your hands on the truck. You have anything else on you shouldn't have on you? Nope. All this for what? All this equipment Are you for what? I am. To the state of Arkansas. Yes. <laughs> Who are you working for to serve these papers? Myself. No. Who, who asked you to serve these papers? Oh, well, that's the attorney out of Texas. Texas, yes, sir. How'd they get a hold of you? Uh, internet. So you're saying the state of Texas reached out to you through the internet to become whatever whatever you're doing right now? Yeah, cap. These cap. are the first papers you're served. Yes, sir. You've never served any other papers. No. Nope. So why are your why is your handgun license revoked? You have your criminal mm. history. Trying to be the police, and you can't be the police. No. That's what I think. <laughs> I'm not trying to be the police. What are you trying to be then? Why are you running like this? You, no other paper server does that. My right. guy drives a marked unit. He doesn't drive like that. Okay. He's a full-time okay. certified deputy to serve papers. Yeah. And he didn't act like this. Yeah. And you've got this badge on right here. Why are you wearing an arts investigator badge to serve papers? Well, I'm hoping it doesn't. That I don't get shot. What? So you're impersonating an officer? No. You're Trying to impersonate an officer. No. That's what. You're hoping it doesn't get you shot. Mm -hmm. You're. 100. This guy's going to jail, right? For sure, for sure. GG. During the stop, the officers find out that Mr. Kirk has a felony charge as well. The cops then decide to confiscate his vehicle. You know the saying. The safest place is the most dangerous place. This guy is literally the definition. He is posing as an officer when he has a felony charge. That is probably dumbest and maybe the smartest thing. You got felony charges and you're acting. Does Adam know that? Nope. They will. <laughs> hey, who are you talking to? We're taking it. We're gonna send it back to him. There's a woman. Is that his wife? No, that can't be. He was serving divorce papers. Who's that woman? Why are you taking my truck? You're posing we're as a. We're it, and we're gonna inventory it. Okay. Because you got handcuffs, you got a badge, you got a body camera, you, you resemble law enforcement, you run a lights and sirens down the middle of the road. You're telling me that the reason you have handcuffs is to have a turn, which doesn't make sense. Uh, you got felony charges on you, and you got a badge. And, and I know what it says when I get close, and I know what you're saying. Uh, you're saying you're an arson investigator. Mm -hmm. Nobody in this state or this country is going to use you as an arson investigator because you're a felon. That's crazy. Okay? This, Wait. to me, looks like you're impersonating an officer. You're running down the middle of the road at over 90 miles an hour with lights going. It says, caution, working dog. You're saying you're a civil process server. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're, you're telling us that you were trying to get here to, because this says take kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. This doesn't say take kids. This no. says it's an emergency order. Okay. So the reason we're telling you, you also got a why do you have a radar in there? Uh, it says I enjoy playing with it. You're playing with it? Yeah, I enjoy just watching it. The radar, you enjoy watching the radar. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you don't try to pull people over. And I run six or eight of these unmarked dodges. Back up. So, how can you watch a radar? You, have guns in here? you mean listen? Oh. You're under arrest. So you're not associated with any fire department. Nope. Oh. Any search or rescue? Uh, just, just what I told you. So when you got this tag, did you not put down you was with search and rescue? I uh, was with search and rescue. Yes. What? <laughs> and I still do that. You do. My dog, you got German Shepherd. What is it trained in? Uh, tracking and trailing. That's it. That's it. The language doesn't speak. He's in German. German. Yep. Okay. Dog can speak different languages. No, that's cat. Yeah, that's cat. Yeah. Hello, our dog. I'm sorry. 
So I love our dogs. It just so happens I'm a dog guy. Outstanding. We're going to get along well then. No, no we're not either. I'm not, a, I'm not a criminal. I'm the real police. We don't have to act like it. <laughs> Gigi. You're a convicted felon. We don't get along. Wait, yo, yo, look at him. Look at this truck. Oh my god, he has like everything. Red River Edition? That's crazy. He put in so much effort into this. What? Just be a real cop, dude. You're a convicted felon. We don't get along. Mr. Kirk was transported to the Lone Oak County detention. According to police reports, since Mr. Kirk's arrest, the Lone Oak County Sheriff's Office has received information from some central Arkansas law enforcement agencies and citizens that Mr. Kirk was involved in making contact with the public as a law enforcement officer. But if you think Jeremy Kirk overstepped his limits, wait till you see what this next cop impersonator was up oh to. Oh my God. He has uniform right and everything. Now you are not under arrest. You're just being detained for the further investigation here. Do you have a key to your handcuffs? Uh, in the car. Keys in the car? Yeah. Who's the radio through? Uh, eBay. Nobody. Okay. That's not a homeland radio? No. Okay. This is 47-year-old cop impersonator Terrence Jacks, who on the 1st of September 2019 ran out of luck and finally met real cops. This happened when officers from the Atlanta City Police Department responded to an auto accident only to discover that one of the individuals involved, Samuel Smith, had his wrists restrained by handcuffs. His wife, Patricia Smith, revealed that her husband had been handcuffed by an officer while they were at Peaches of Atlanta, a local strip club. Okay. What's going on, ma'am? Somebody just hit us at the red light. This is my okay? husband. Is he okay? Sir? He in handcuffs? Why is he in handcuffs? I can't answer no question, sir. Hold on one second. Leave him there. 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 Radio, can I get a blood? Is that blood? Black male with laceration to his face. I'm just out of there. This is what happens. Uh, this is what I would bet money on. Who took the handcuffs off? I don't know. Yo, whose car is this? Huh? Whose car is this? Wow. Hey, how did he wind up in handcuffs, Left? How did he wind up in handcuffs? I don't know. Sorry, we just left the strip club. Which strip club? Um, Peaches. Peaches? Okay. Um, I got you. Over on RDA? Yeah. I got you. Okay. Did Where you guys get into the a security car? over there? Sir, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All I know is that's my husband. Gotcha. Say less. I'm going to grab your Appreciate it. What the know. fuck? Okay, that's fine. You're good. After concluding their interrogation with Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the officers went to Peach's Strip Club to find out why the alleged officer, who went by the name of Terrence Jacks, arrested Mr. Samuel Smith. They had no idea that the officer was not a real cop, but an impersonator. What's this? 1306 radio. Fuck around like a easy car? <laughs> what you work for? Homeland. Okay. Um, did y'all have some here a little bit ago? Male and female get into it with anybody? Yeah. Sure Left did. in a pair of cuffs? Yeah. All right. What was the story with that? Uh, they were just drunk. All right. And um, whose handcuffs I'll, is he wearing? Mine. He took off. He jumped in the SUV and took off. Yeah. I mean, it's Metro. It's a fair. So like almost down to 166. Mm -hmm. Wiped out real hard. Oh, and hurt some people. Hurt themselves. All right. Here's what I want you to do for me, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take your firearm off your side, okay? Okay. You got uh, just syrup right here? Yeah. Right. You got a real firearm? Place that in my car. I'm gonna detain you for right now. Okay. Sir. Terrence Jack tells the cops that he is a special agent with Homeland Security. But when the cops ask the Department of Homeland Security, it is revealed that Mr. Jack has no official affiliation with the said department. Why you want to be a cop so bad? Dude? Right now you are not under arrest. You're just being detained for the further uh, investigation here. 
You watch too much you documentary know, shows. Uh, in the car. Keys in the car? Yeah. Who's the radio through? Uh, eBay. Nobody. Okay. That's not a home man radio? No. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have you have a seat in my car for a minute, okay? Okay. But never registered it. The, the, the license plate is off of a Bluebird school bus from, uh, from Tucker, <laughs> Georgia. That's how we got a GB tag. Radio check this thing. He got a car and everything? Oh my god. That's PA. Is it just a scanner? The jacket in the in the back seat is just a regular old uh, raincoat. It doesn't say police on it. Got it. Beautiful. Put this in the back with all of the other evidence because that's going to be evidence also. Jax was taken into custody and charged with impersonating a public officer or employee. Mm -hmm. Patricia Smith, who was found to be at fault for the auto accident, was charged with DUI less safe, hit and run, reckless driving, and driving on a suspended license. Samuel Smith, her husband, was also apprehended due to an active warrant out of Fulton County. But Ooh. if you think Terrence Jack tried to outsmart cops and failed, you have no idea what this next fake cop did. What's that? I have my food inside. Oh, hold on. You can't go inside yet. It's a traffic stop. I'm at my house. I understand that, but if it's, a, it's a traffic stop. You have to hang tight. Is there any way we can, you can give me a one time professional courtesy if I show you my ID? I have to. We've been getting complaints in Seven Oaks in general. Because of that, we're enforcing everything. Okay. This is fake cop Eddie Coker, who on the 11th of June 2018 tried to intimidate Deputy Duriel Aiken of the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, but instead his attempt backfired. At midday, Deputy Aiken detained Dr. Catherine Coker, Mr. Eddie's wife, uh. allegedly running a stop sign. Before Deputy Aiken could intercept Mrs. Coker, she reached her home. Here is what transpired when Deputy Aiken tried to detain her for questioning. So I'm actually doing a traffic stop now. Why? I'm back there. Yes. Yes, you did. We didn't. Yes, you did. Can I have your license, driver's license, uh, proof of registration? You have a video. I don't need a video. I saw you do it. Uh, no, you need a video. No, I don't. I saw you do it. Uh, we'll be going to court because you did not see me do it. Okay, if you say so. Okay, I do say so. How are you gonna tell a cop that he didn't see you when he saw you? I. S you guys have been targeting me and targeting me and targeting me because of neighbors complaining and I'm not doing anything. I don't know. Whatever. Write me a ticket for my insurance. I don't know. I can you log that. into it? Or I, I don't know. I don't know how. I have no idea how to do it. So it's AAA? Yep. Okay. Well, just do me a favor. Just hang tight till I'm done, okay? Yep. What's that? I have my food inside. Oh, hold on. You can't go inside yet. It's a traffic stop. I'm at my house. I understand that, but if it's, a, it's a traffic stop. You have to hang tight. No, I gotta put my food in the If you go in the house, I will arrest you for obstruction. For what? Obstruction. Resisting without. You are not free to leave. Yo. If you go in the house, understand. You're harassing me. You are. If you Yo, I don't get how people can just disobey an officer like that, bro. Like, you think you're above the officer? He's literally, he can arrest you, bro. Well, I don't get why people do this. I literally don't get it. It's only, I've only seen these white characters do it, bro. I literally don't get why they have like a power trip or something. You go in the house, I'm just telling you, if you go in the house, that's obstruction. You should just hang tight for a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking. As the altercation between Deputy Aiken and Dr. Coker is ongoing, Dr. Coker's husband, Eddie Coker, makes an entry onto the scene. He identifies himself as a police deputy, while in fact, he was a detention deputy with Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office with no policing authority. I'm sure you know since you're a deputy here, I saw it. I'm telling you, I saw it. It's, yo, this couple is stupid. You are impersonating an officer and goes up to the officer and had the audacity to tell him, yo, from police officer, police officer, let her off the cook. You're just snitching on yourself. Are you stupid? And if you're a police officer, you should know that's not how it works. All right, right. so you're wrong. that's probable cause for me to conduct a traffic stop, which is you're what I'm doing. No, you're not taking it. Relax. No, no, it's harassment. Well, as you can see, that's probable cause to do the stop. Absolutely. If she wants to take it to court, if she, she can take it to court, that's up to her.
Mr. Eddie Coker then asks Deputy Aiken to let his wife's crime go unpunished as a professional courtesy. When Deputy Aiken refuses to comply to this illegal demand, Mr. Coker warns him that as a retaliation, his agency will issue tickets to the deputy's department whenever they can. Is there any way we can, you can give me a one-time professional courtesy if I show you my ID? I have to. We've been getting complaints in Seven Oaks in general. Because of that, we're enforcing everything. Okay. Well, I'll be sure to let my agency know that if we stop one of you guys... You must fucking love playing poker. You are bluffing your fucking ass off, dude. That is fucking crazy. Make sure you get shoot the ticket. That's on okay. you. All right. I assume you have wrong video running stop sign. So when we go to court. I saw it, but she can take it to court. That's okay. fine. So at this point, I mean, she can give her case. I'll give my she case. She just went okay. to the just house. Just give me a couple minutes. Just do me a favor and hang out over there for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. Can I get your hand and in your card? I will do that once I'm done. Please hurry. For that one, once you prove that you have insurance, I'm sure that you do. But, I know. I, but just, still, I don't know. I've, I got I my insurance card in the Jeep. Can Same you go thing. get it? Yeah. Well, it's too I, late now. I, I mean, I already pulled the number, but it's still all she has to do is show that she has Let's it. She didn't have it. Explain the three options. One, pay the ticket. No. Two, no. take the course, no. in which case you wouldn't get points. Or no. three, take it to court. Don't go to court. You have to make the choice within 30 days for I've which one you choose. I've already made my choice. Thank you. But you okay. Can I finish? No, I'm done. Come on. Relax. Even it's because the on the street keep complaining because they have nothing okay. better to do well i'm just going to say it off you want to interrupt me that's that's on you this one which is the insurance which i'm okay. assuming you're just going to show your proof that's 114. this one for the stop sign is 164. any questions for me anything. no please let me just let me go soon after this encounter mr coker filed a complaint against deputy aiken for misuse of authority however this complaint backfired when an internal affairs investigation found that mr coker overstepped you actually filed it you dumbass! I okay. I genuinely at this point I don't think he knows the law. I literally don't. I think he needs to go back to training, bro. I don't think he knows the law. Kept his authority, and he ended up facing a series of administrative Idiot. charges. These included misdirected actions in an official investigation, misuse of communication facilities, improper use of his official position, and conduct that was not fitting for a member of the sheriff's office. He doesn't know his The law. matter escalated on January 30th, 2020, when the Florida Criminal Justice Standards and Training Commission, the body responsible for certifying law enforcement and correctional officers in the state, made a decisive move. They unanimously voted to revoke Mr. Coker's Damn. correctional officer certification, citing misuse of public resources as the main reason. But if you think Eddie Coker was in the wrong, wait till you see our next fake cop video. You're wearing a patch that says sheriff. Okay. I, I, That's impersonating law enforcement. I've worn it all the time at the jail before, though. Okay. Well, that might be true and fine within the jail, but when you come out to public, you don't have any arrest powers. Jail. This is 19-year-old Jackson Jones, who on the 1st of January, 2023, was seen parked in a driveway and wearing the clothes of a sheriff's deputy. Some citizens reported him to the cops, and that is when real cops from the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office arrived at the scene to interrogate Jones. The 19-year-old was wearing a ballistic vest with a sheriff patch on it, a duty belt with knives. Whoever reported him was fucking goaded. Wait, let me move this cam again. Whoever reported him was goaded and had a flashlight and handcuffs. Here is how this encounter unraveled. Do you have any weapons in the car or anything like that? Like a gun or anything? I don't even have a gun. Okay. I'm 19 years old. I ain't got nothing. If, if, if this is going to cause problems in the truck over there, I, I'm just going to take out the vest, and I'm from Tennessee. So okay. if, Why are you wearing the vest? Well, like I said, I drove from all the way from Tennessee, but I'm not going to have people call me when I don't even live in this damn state. Okay. It's going to piss me off. You're, you're a deputy sheriff? I, I, well, I mean, I work at the sheriff's office. Okay. So, I mean, what? Were you a corrections officer for yeah. the sheriff's office? Okay. Why do you wear a vest outside of the facility? Is this an I mean, agency vehicle, or is this your personal vehicle? Oh, GG. Okay. It's just a little odd, because whenever I worked in the jail, I took my crap off, especially if I was taking a long drive uh, man, from Tennessee. Exactly right, man. If I, if I, Look, I will tell you guys the same gonna... thing. I have been pulled over so many times on Tennessee and Arkansas. Right. Okay? They know. I have told them every that, single that time. That might be true, but... It's... That still doesn't justify why, why you're wearing a uniform out, out of duty, you know? Also, Just a almost little pulled odd. me for two wearing this stuff. I mean, like, it, it, every time I come up here, I mean, like, they don't... All they say is, 
It's just odd. I never see it. I was right. like, well, I mean, like, well, guess what? Yeah, I like wearing it. Just like in Tennessee, I've got pulled over for it. I don't think you yeah, can. Yeah, I'm not saying it's against the law or anything. It's just And I think the dad had took it off, and I've had it set right here before, and they're like, and I get I get yelled at for it. They're like, well, yeah. it's kind of weird that you got your belt and your belt. You got any kind of employment identification? Dude, they don't give me that when you work at the jail. Really? Cap, cap, you don't cap, have, like, cap, access card cap, or cap, cap, ID cap, badge cap. or anything for the facility that you work at? I, I don't. I can I can show you my face, though. That helps you. Think I'm lying. Y'all think I'm lying. Oh, so my only deal so, is so when you wear... Finance, County. Here you go. Yeah. This Are you commissioned face, to carry a gun? Uh, uh, um, no, I, I'm not even... You're not? No. Okay. I don't even have a gun on me. Well, you realize wearing the sheriff on your chest is basically impersonating law enforcement, is, is that, whether or not you're carrying a gun. Jackson, okay, but are you commissioned to be carrying a gun and hey, you have arrest power? I, I don't, what do you mean? I don't even have a gun. That, that's beside the fact you're wearing a patch that says sheriff. Okay. I, I, that's impersonating law enforcement. I'm worried all the time at the jail before, though. Okay, well that might be but true that's the jail, and fine though. within the jail, but when you come out to public, you don't have any arrest powers, you don't, you're not commissioned, I could, I'll just, do you understand? I understand that, I don't understand what's going on. And you got alcohol in the vehicle. Well, it's not mine. Well, that's beside the point. It's my girlfriend. Wait. But, and I don't drink, so. Well, it, it, I, doesn't, it doesn't, Wait, wait, well, wait, you're 19, can you drink uh, uh, in Texas? You have to be like, tw does it have to be 21 and above? Because you're 19, that's, isn't that illegal? Matter. Okay. But so I, let, I let's let's stop cause, saying it, all right? Okay. The officers are on to Jones, and they know that something is wrong here. Jones insists that he is a deputy with Tennessee's Campbell County Sheriff's Office and is in uniform after just leaving work. I'm okay. not from here, so. That right. makes no sense, though. Just leaving so work? Right there. But like yeah. I told him, I just want to take it off. I'll take well, it off. That's fine. I'd much rather you just take the sheriff patch off. I mean, I could do that. Because if you're if you're not commissioned to be a sheriff deputy or and I, and I, a police officer, well, you're a sheriff, and I, understand why you got that. I am a deputy sheriff. Yes. But, do you, I, but I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm trying to be nice to you. I understand why you got called. Don't say that. Don't say that. Right. But if you walk around with a vest carrier on with a sheriff on your chest okay. and you're not a sheriff. You may work for the sheriff's office, but you work in a jail, and you're not commissioned outside of the jail to carry a gun or have any arrest powers. Okay, I understand. All right. Did you get out of your car or something here in the parking lot? Okay, I got out of the car. There's, yeah. There's a truck that he, he, he looked at me. And that's all I did. I, I never, I never, <coughs> never said anything like law enforcement was or nothing. I he, he looked at me and he was laughing. So I just like go to his car and I was like, did you need me or something like that? That's it. And I just like walked away. Okay. I mean, I don't... That's you, all I did, man. I'm being serious. So you were just in the driveway and he was just looking at you? I got in my car, though. I'm go inside. Oh, okay, he looked here. at me. And okay. then I just went up to the truck. I just... I was like... Oh, okay. He just said, oh, I was just looking at you, man. He said, I'm just looking at your car. That was it. Okay. You need to watch the video taken with Tom. What sure video? That's all right. And you don't have a gun with you or anything like that? You can search the car. I, I can search the car? I mean, is that what you said? You, you, you asked me if I had a gun on me. I don't have a gun on me. I was just asking if you had a gun on you. You no, said I really something don't. about I can search the car. I don't. You don't mind if I search the car? I don't care to search the car. Okay, cool. Step on out if you don't mind. He's done, bro. He could have just apologized and went on with his life. There. Face the vehicle, I'll just check you for make sure you don't have any guns or nothing. Yo, he, he has a he has a lot of things. He got the Batman belt! Okay. <laughs> Alright, if you wouldn't that's fine. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and take the vest off and just set it in the car. Okay. You are What was his purpose of wearing this? To pretend a cop? So do you wear just this vest carrier cool? on duty? Like, no. In the jail? I mean, like, I can. I usually wear it under my hood shirt. 
Okay. After completing their initial investigation what? and detaining Jones, the cops then ask the onlookers about what they noticed about this fake cop. All right, tell me exactly what you just said. Because he was dressed like a cop. Yeah. He had a sheriff thing, but it had sheriff written on the side right here. Right. And I live on 62 off of Adam Road. He was sitting in a driveway. 251. Right beside 62 Highway. And I pulled up and I was staring at him because he was in there kind of too high. And I was like, we live on a one, uh, one way in, one way out. And, you know, we always are watching for cars. And I sat there and I was staring at him. And uh, I started about 10 minutes of staring at him. And I'm like, who the heck is this guy? It's kind of odd. He's in, in, in our neighbor's driveway. I sat there and stared at him, stared at him. And I drove off. And he got right behind me and started following mm -hmm. And uh, he was driving along. He was right on my, right on me. And I'm like, oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. And I pulled in Sonic. He pulled in behind me. He gets out. And I said, can I help you, sir? He's like, well, uh. I was wondering what, what was your problem. You were staring at me over in the, in the driveway. And I said, yeah, I was kind of curious who you was because that's kind of odd that uh, I didn't know who you was. I was kind of curious. I lived down the road. I was kind of seeing what was going on. And I was staring at you to see who you was. He goes, I'm an I'm a, a undercover cop oh. for Wellston. And I run, uh, my partner, I run with the highway patrolman out of Wellston. <laughs> Wait, I think he just stopped a crime. This undercover cop was trying to, well, like this fake ass cop was trying to do something to that house in the driveway. I think he just discovered a crime and he stopped him right before he was committed. Okay. And then uh, he goes, uh, well, I got a call. I got to let you go. And then he left. And then when he left, he came towards uh, by the uh, bridge of, on a uh, uh, turnpike bridge. And he took Yui and was trying to pull another car. He started flashing his lights at him. Really? And I, I didn't know if, if they pulled over or not, but he just flashed his lights like he was trying to pull them over. I was like, this is kind of strange. Right. I got home as well. I go and tell my wife. I was like, why oh, this car pull me over? And I was talking to this guy, and I was just odd how he was acting. I got you. Can you hang out here for a minute? Yeah. All right. Don't go nowhere, okay? All right. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. All right. Ooh. Turn around and face the other way. Put your hands behind your back. GG. You're under arrest for impersonating law enforcement, all right? And then you also have a charge for transporting an open container. What does that mean? Open container? Uh, not at this time. Okay. You know how long I'm going to be in jail because I'm going to be in jail. Okay. Well, your mom lives here, so well, I know that, I'm not too worried about that. Well, I mean... Go ahead and step on out. I'm going to double check, make sure you don't have anything in your pockets or nothing. Basically, Didn't you check it already? You got a vape? Yeah. Where at? Your right pocket? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is <laughs> beginning of 23. But you used to work in a jail? Yeah, I used to work in a jail. So you know what, what goes down in a jail. You know, you know the process a little bit. You're going to pick up this cell. Um, nobody knows that. I'm going to jail. This is my first time. Okay, you'll be able to make a phone call when you get to the jet. I don't know anybody's number. We'll be able oh, to give G -G. You phone We'll write down phone numbers for you, and you'll have a piece of paper with their number. Did you talk to my... Your cousin? Jacob? Yep. Did he... Okay. So he knows that. Uh, he doesn't know you're going to jail, because we didn't confirm Who's what we Jacob? know now until we talked to the RP. Uh, so... It's RP. Huh? It's RP. Reporting party. Okay, well, that's because you're not long, long. <laughs> All right. Um, so you, oh, but sorry. Jacob wanted me to let you know that if you try to come back there and get a job, you won't be hired. Jones oh. never showed proof of employment with any law enforcement agency. He was soon arrested and taken to the Oklahoma County Detention Center. He also lost his job, and officials said that it was not the first time the suspect had been accused of impersonating an officer. Jones Why? was a regular cop impersonator. Investigators charged the 19-year-old with impersonating an officer and transporting an open container, according to police officers. It's alarming to see that it is so easy for some cocky citizens yeah, to just grab crazy. some police gear and start acting like real cops without any know-how or training of the law. Although a lot of these fake cops get arrested, a lot of these are still roaming around. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and drop a thumbs up. Until that, how is it so easy to impersonate cops? And why would you like use so much money and effort to pretend? Go be an actual cop, bro.
Why? You put so much money and effort into it. That's crazy.